what you're looking at here is some old time Olympic pressing. In this video, I'm going to be talking about building strength on the seated press versus the standing press. So as you can see here, they were cleaning the weight off the floor, uh, going into a squat clean, and once the bar gets racked, they uh, lean back and press the weight up, sort of like a high incline, especially as the weight gets heavier. So these days, an overhead press is basically a press off the rack. Um, they say to press the weight once it starts going over your head you, you make like you're looking through a window and you're keeping the barbell over your head uh, like I'm doing here once the weight gets past my forehead it's coming in line with my body and at that point see the bar I'm not on an incline here I'm pressing the weight up so the, the, um, the most beneficial um, thing about this style is it saves your lower back. You're not leaning back. You're not risking your lower back over time, over the years. So as much. Once the weight goes over your head, your, uh, your lower back is safe. So the only problem, how do you program it? But this is um, if you're always tightening up your glutes and your back where do you how do you concentrate in your reps so on a seated press as you can see here um, about on an 85 degree angle this sort of mimics a uh, old-time Olympic press uh, without risking your lower back you know it's okay to maybe demonstrate strength once in a while with a cleaning press but to train like that all the time might not be the best thing for your lower back. Uh, I think it's there would be nothing wrong with spending some time trying to get stronger in the seated press. I think you could program it better. Uh, you could get smoother reps in and just concentrate on getting stronger. Whereas the standing press off the rack, you're going to be uh, concentrating a lot on technique, tightening the glutes, tightening the lower back. And the reps might not go up as smooth. Uh, some people might have better leverage on overhead press standing. Some may not, and they might be better off doing a seated press. Spend a lot of time getting stronger to seated press, and every once in a while, demonstrate strength on the standing press. If you can seat press 315, I don't see why you couldn't demonstrate strength with maybe 275 on a standing press once in a while. So that's... Uh, that's it so more people should be getting stronger on a seated press spend some time with it nothing wrong with it you know getting stronger on a standing press if it's working for you keep doing it but I think you could program the seated press better than a standing press at least for most people because reps go up smoother and you don't have to worry as much about technique you just concentrate on getting stronger and Core strength is not a big deal. People say the standing press will give you more core strength, but if you're doing uh, heavy squats, deadlifts, and all that, you're getting plenty of core. And if you're not activate that core, if you have the technique down for the standing press, it shouldn't be a problem. Another thing that I like about the seated press is you can unrack the weight on top the same way you would a bench press and get better stretch reflex on the bottom. You could do touch and go. You could do a slight pause. You can do a long pause, whatever you like. All right, so that's it. I hope this video was helpful, and I'll talk to you maybe soon. Bye.